Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 18 of my Engineer's Life 2 playthrough. And a little bit of a mining trip, so processing that stuff up. Still haven't patched the holes in the floor here though. Uh, let's see. Those can go into there for now. I think it's still running. You know, of course it is. But uh, go ahead and get out here. Get some more bamboo planted too because, well, might as well. Oogie cave noise. Hello. I need to find what cave is causing that and light it up. It's really odd be out here in the middle of the day and cave noise. So. All right. So last episode, we went ahead and got our treated wood set up. Somewhat running. I need to get a lever onto here. We're up to 20 and a half bucket, oops, buckets now of that. And what I want to do is I need to get a sawmill up and going. Which is this thing here. Uh, I need six light engineering blocks. I've got, what, four? Dang. And I forgot my projector too, so. Go ahead and get that taken care of. You need eight iron plates. Five copper. And... You and all but one of you go into here for those. And then I'm just going to make a set of these. There we go. Give me everything I need there. And now it's a question of where did I leave my projector at? There it is. Right next to my other engineer's manual, which I found off camera. I was like, really? And I'll put it there because I figured at one point I would be like, oh yeah, yeah. I'll remember where this is at. Yeah, nope. Okay, you're set to the right page. Good. Oh, that's right. You don't do that anymore. There we go. And... Lawmill. Alright, and... Probably there, right? There we go. So you have to hit shift right click before you do anything else. Uh, okay, steel scaffolding. All right, light engineering block. And it kind of lights up which block you need to go up to next, but I'm not sure I like the order it's trying to get me to do things. So, all right, the engineering block can go here. Single redstone can go there. Deep metal. Light engineering. Conveyors, and I'm guessing since you know they're running this way in the the preview, I should probably have them do that over this way as well. And we're done. Now, quick question: central sheet metal block. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Off the hot bar, so it quits displaying. And here is our wonderful sawmill. We're looking at, here's our output, okay. Input is probably this right here, this belt. So that makes, makes sense. Got power here. Redstone control, okay. All right, awesome. And there's a spot to put a saw blade as well, so. Need to get that taken care of. Grab the saw blade. Okay, that's the buzz saw. There we go. Rock cutter blade. Oh, I don't need that one though, do I?
Okay, well, that is not the thing. Pretty sure I don't need the rock cutter one. And it just takes me to buzzsaw, which is great. Now, here we go. Saw blade. Or steel, or steel plates. Okay, easy enough. And it was probably... I need to rotate that, don't I? Yep. And there's our saw blade. Now, questing-wise, I did a little bit between episodes. So, didn't claim the rewards for the seeds. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Grapes was a thing as well. Did that just seriously just give me a glass bottle? All right, I mean, that's useful, I guess. I'll need to have something to put my uh, my wine into. Uh, the assembler quest is an iron coin and some bricks. Okay, well, that's good enough, I guess. Uh, item router is some iron grit. Yeah, that's easy enough, right? Anything else on this page? Nope, we're good there. And then skill progression. I went ahead and made myself some leather armor and some iron armor. And I got two of the pieces of chainmail crafted up. So you can uh, kindly not be there. Hey, Bale, times one. Hooray, I shall treasure it never. And a single gunpowder. Anybody else kind of getting the idea that uh, those things are like troll rewards, honestly? Also something to be careful about, hay bales can only be broken by, you know, hoes, so don't place it if you can't pick it back up. And let's go ahead and do that. Got another decent amount of iron out of that last mining trip, so. Actually, I'll probably bring my skills up. All right, so excavation, we're up to 32.9. I basically, I went out for gravel is what happened. I to level up my excavation skill and build up some gravel. Which, I mean, kind of worked. So, but we're up to 80 points of mining, which unlocked the Neptunium pickaxe for me. Also, my endurance is at 36 point, well, 3, 9, uh, 40. I get 0 0.02 every time I fall out of that hole. So, yeah. In turns, it's going to take a while to build up. Alright, let's go ahead and... Bricks put away, I guess. We have this iron coin. I should go ahead and look at... You now, spending this. Random ingot material. Ingot material choice. Sure, why not? Stack of clay blocks. It's not a bad thing to have. And so... One thing I need to work on, though, is getting power. So, I've been using blue ice down here. Actually, let's look in the book. That's the jerky for Any jerky from Vanilla Food Pantry. Interesting stuff. Like the triple meat treat from Thalmcraft back in the day. Alright, so, here we go. Thermoelectric. Blue ice is 200k, packed ice is 240, ice is 273, magma block, <clears throat> block is 1300k, block uranium is 2000. So, I mean, you can get by with water and lava when you get down to it, which is probably the easiest option. I have access to blocks of uranium, I'm definitely using those. It doesn't particularly say what the temperature gradient is on different things, so... But blue ice is the best of these blocks, right? Uh, if I bring up, like, lava... Yeah, no, it doesn't, uh... Laser drill fluids, okay, cool. Whitelisted pretty much everything. In the nether. Okay. Blacklisted biomes, none. But it doesn't give me, like, a Kelvin readout for, like, liquid lava. Uh, how about water, right? Audible water. 
Yeah, water? No. Okay. So, yeah, blue ice then. How are we going to get this stuff? All right, we got blue ice and packed ice. All right, well, yeah, blue ice comes from black ice or packed ice. Packed ice, I can do a heavy weight, a bit of water, and ice. Ice, I can do the same with some the heavy weight, a bit of water, and snow. And then snow comes from snowballs, obviously, right? Also, I can centrifuge frosty combs to get snowballs and ice. So, nine ice equal one packed ice as well, that, this way. Packed ice plus a bit of heat. Yeah, that's the only ways to get ice, though. Minus having, like, a select touch pick. So, we're looking at this. I'm going to need... An obscene amount of snow if I go this route. The bit of water is not a problem. The heavy weight is probably reused anyway. So I can make that right now. I need three smooth stone. This is over here. By three stone, not smooth stone. Go and do that. I should have some glass panes. I need two of you. There's our heavy weight, which, what else can we use this for? Ice, packed ice, homemade cheese, and compacted seeds. I can turn into seed mush. I can cook into seed oil. We can use make jars of seed oil, which we can then use to turn vegetables into raw vegetable meal. Okay. Cactus pad is a meal. Okay, we can use it to make... Yeah, there's... Quite a bit into vanilla food pantry, but it's there's a lot of preparation involved in a lot of the foods from vanilla food pantry, which is not necessarily a bad thing. All right, and let's see, apostrophe hides my trash slot. Mama is my backpack. Okay, kind of refamiliarizing myself with hotkeys because I did change a few of them. And let's go ahead and put some of this stuff into my toolbox here, and the projector. Oh, that doesn't go into tool slot. Oh, that's a shame. All right, so no. And let's go ahead and look at our map. We have a little bit of snow up here. We got some snow here. And that was kind of it. I found a lot of warm biomes, really. There is this wonderful ice uh, biome here, though. So do I have any silk touch books? So I want to set up a small power plant of thermoelectrics, which is, you know, he just couldn't figure out what the next step is. Frostwalker plus silk touch could be interesting. I don't know if it actually makes real ice or not, though. Probably a version of ice, yes, but not the actual ice. Um, yeah. Over here, I've got this diamond pick, and got this one here. This is my coal cracker, though, Fortune 3. Which does kind of make me regret having Fortune 2 on the Eater of Worlds. That's pending enchantments. Okay, there it goes. Soulbound, efficiency. I say it didn't show up at first, so... Unbreaking, efficiency, efficiency. Get a whole bunch of enchantments in here. Unbreaking, fortune one, efficiency. Tinted, unbreaking one, fortune one. Unbreaking one. And acquisition, which you have acquisition on you anyway. Uh, unbreaking three, efficiency five, really, yeah. Turn this into a bit of a work pick. For now, I think. Which means I'm going to skip the fortune because there's not much point. Try to get as much like efficiency on here as we can and unbreaking. Efficiency one. Efficiency one. 
unbreaking on there. So we're on to unbreaking three, okay. Which is probably for the best right now. And we're, I need one more efficiency one upgrade here, which there are none. Okay, so we're stuck at efficiency three. But, I mean, not bad, not great. Just burned up a whole lot of levels for a, an okay-ish pick. Uh, let's get ourselves a book, though. That should be... Where did I leave my book set? Here? Yeah, here we go. Air Affinity. And Smite 2. Uh, probably is the better way to do some books in here. Uh, Silk Touch would be great if I could get that on a book. Unbreaking 3 book. Yeah, we're just doing that. Lanix 2, no thanks. And that's literally it. Fine, I guess I have to put that on there. There's no way to, there's no way to clear in, uh, pending enchantments from what I know. Fire Protection 2. Reach three. That could be good. Thorns one. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. Thorns does make your armor break quicker. Cavalier two. Lucky the C2. I'll take that one. And Frost Aspect. Uh, Frost Aspect, I guess we'll put on a book. Power four. Yeah, I'll just take that as is. Frost Aspect 1. Horse Feather Falling. Okay, you know, we're taking that. That I can see being very useful. Minimum 30. I don't have enough experience levels anymore. Alright. So. Yeah. My other option is to go trading with villagers to try and... Uh, get something resembling Silk Touch. But, you know what? Uh, Silk Touch book. Infusion from Better End Forge. Okay. Enchanted Petal. There's Crystal Shards plus a Hydrolux Petal. Crystal Shards, I'm guessing, come from the end as well. So, it's possible. However, I don't see that happening anytime soon. And there's a silky bee, silk moth nest, yeah. Silk fiber, we can turn into silk. I guess that comes from the silk moths, okay. Silky comb, centrifuges into string, yeah. A whole lot of nothing. Uh, let's see, there was that, let's see, tools, right? Buzzsaw, you don't go to Ravenholm, nice. It keeps a stone from the ground, much like silk touch. This is stone, though. Stone saw blade with a rock cutter blade. Keeps the stone from ground, much like silk touch. Carving wood through wood or felling trees. And this thing runs off of what? Diesel? Biodiesel, yeah. Okay, so... Might be an option in the future, but I don't have a way to power it right now either. Because I haven't gotten into biodiesel yet. And we don't have anything like a rock cut or anything, do we, here? Alright, um... But this cutter here, I can use it as a weapon once I get to combat level 19, but... Doesn't have the, uh... The stuff, right? Hmm. So at this point, I basically need more experience to try and get a Silk Touch book. Or Villager Trading. Thinking that might be about my best bet. Is there a good way to pick up mobs, though, is the thing. Hey, cool, I got my bottle of wine. And it's me and Enderpearl. Dang, I was actually hoping for one level. I've got Enderpearls. So i got six stacks of them. I was doing great on experience for a while, but 
Yeah. Kind of did burn through that pretty quick. I still need a few seeds here, it looks like. Uh, yeah, no. So... There's Monster Coin is all for that. Oh, well, I'm... Oh, look, there's no mob imprisonment tool from uh, foregoing. Uh, yeah, that's quite a bit less than I was expecting to see, really. So, like, uses for plastic. All right, block breaker. Doo -doo -doo. Mm, I don't think the block breaker can slip touch, though. I can make the drinking straw, though. Hooray! Okay, the book is... Dirt Book Redstone. Okay. And... There we go. Oh, that was a quest. Oh, look at that. Loading error. Okay. All right, interesting. Basics, generator tools. Let's go to tools, I guess, right? Mob and Prisma tool is not in this pack. All right, well, we got that figured out then. And the other thing I wanted to check is the engineer's decor book. Building, structural, cosmetic. Illumination, power, fluid, fluidics, okay. Automation, crafting, smelting, automation, block breaker, collector store, drop blocks, okay. And rotating radia, covered cores, okay. Providing power, okay. Without silk touch, effect, portion zero, anything like that. Okay. Well, that unfortunately is not an option either. Well, let's go ahead and put this one in here. So I've got two of them. And actually, a little bit low on books now, too. I don't have a great way of moving mobs. I do have. Um, I do have leads, right? And I have waystones. So I'm going to journey around. I'm going to go find myself a village that uh, I can work with, I think. Hmm. Missed one. Is that a nest? No, that's just... What the hell happened here? I like unload the chunk while I was cutting a tree and I goof it up or something? Oh, and those leaves aren't updating either. I see so yeah, something broke and I don't think it's the because yeah. Yeah, something happened there, like it unloaded weirdly or something. Mm, odd. Well, I have to take a nap before I head out. There we go. There's our wonderful saw blade now. My shadow looks really weird when I run. On the right hand side of the screen there. All right. So I went over to the swamp village and uh, found my, my mason friend here who wasn't broken because, well, the trade I liked here was the, uh, the bench saw. So there was that one that I might have screwed up with the uh, blast forge, but oh well. Blast furnace. And what do we got here? Quartz pillar, block of quartz. Okay. 
What are some uses for this block of quartz? Right there. Well, I can use it to make kitchen floors. Okay. I can crush it in another quartz. Okay, cool. That can get behind. Give me like six of those for now. Yeah, I just kind of leveled this guy up a bit here. And right now I'm waiting for him to restock his emeralds for the clay trade. And he's taking his sweet time. Yeah. Do love how it looks out the windows, though. I especially love how the windows are a lot less streaky in this edition. Dude, come on. Yeah, no, you can try to go all you want. Yeah, it doesn't work. No. You're stuck in here with me, yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, restock. Huh? Yeah. Come on. Huh. Does take a while though. But uh yeah, I brought over I think four stacks of clay balls because I remember this guy. So stocked up on emeralds at least. Um a few miscellaneous things. What does wine give us anyway? Uh it looks like regen. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, you still haven't restocked, dude. Come on. Uh, let's see, I don't have any andesite to sell you. I don't have any stone to sell you. And I don't particularly want to buy anything else here. Black terracotta is, yeah, honestly not that great. I guess I can buy, like, two more, though. So I can do the whole glazed terracotta thing and... You know, use it for decoration or whatever. Hey, come on. Yeah, no, you can't go anywhere. You're stuck. Oh, man. Daylight's burning. Found a librarian. Instigating. Deals additional damage if the target is at full health. I mean, not bad, but I don't know if I want to spend 17 emeralds on that. So, this is over at the Jungle Village account, by the way. Yeah, I think I need to keep trading with this guy. Well, next unlock was Excavating. Hooray. Found another village, and I found a Silk Touch book. Awesome. And we're looking at two emeralds and a book for this thing. I just gotta get a book. Staring me in the face. The guy sells bookshelves. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, actually, you know what? At that price? We're going to buy three. Also bought a bunch of lanterns from the guy, and that's what leveled him up to journeyman anyway. Um, three books equal one emerald. Eight emeralds for a bookshelf. He's got a glass trade, though. So, like... Level up. Thank you. What else do we got? Book and quilt for one emerald. Eh, not bad. Three emeralds for a compass. That's not great. This trade, though, that is awesome. No. <laughs> You're staying put. All right, we've also got looks like an immersive engineering house over here. Uh, yeah, there's stuff there. We got more stuff in here. Uh, I'll take the steel, I guess. Don't really need anything else. I like the fireplace. And then it's got a little balcony up here too. And a cute little house. But it's literally that villager here and a guard roaming around somewhere. That's it. This is like the most desolate village, honestly. Yep, yeah, there's the guard. Hi. Oh, it, another guard over here. There's a golem. Okay. Yeah, I didn't come all the way over this way, I think. Hey, there's a farmer. Sweet. And 
No, the librarian. Oh, hey, hey. Hi. Uh, what do I have for blocks? Ah, you're not going anywhere, dude. Power two. Uh, yeah, no. Tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave you alone for now. You were not going anywhere. What is... Just fortuitously placed cave. I mean, look at this. That is right in line with the path. Also, there's plenty of cats roaming around here. Yep, there's the cat. Uh, Charm does that where tamed cats will uh, spawn with villages. Hey, what do you got going on anyway? Beetroot and potatoes, huh? Well, more power to you. Oh, there's a bee hut over here. Hello. Also a cave, so. Beehives with nothing in them. All right. Got some runes in here and metal in here. I also got some apple saplings, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Cave root. Yeah, I definitely need those. Um, Honeycomb block is a shovel. I don't have a shovel on me. All right, then. And then we have a stable over this way, too. We're a really good distance away from base, actually. So, jump height 4, speed 22.4, same speed, okay. You're a pretty crappy horse. Uh, jump height, speed is pretty low, though. 3.6, 2 point, or 0.29. And there's a stable master in here, which for 6 emeralds, I can buy a saddle. And that's an idea. And that's all stuff I dropped off when I came through here earlier. Uh, today I left my hoe at home, didn't I? Uh, 3.6. You're the fastest horse out of all of these. And for certain, yeah, it drops nothing. Okay, and no apples. Does this guy, like, I mean, he's expensive as hell, but what do you sell besides the saddle? Uh, you buy a bunch of stuff. You sell leads, saddles, and diamond horse armor. Well, I want a saddle anyway. Uh, Taffy, I doubt the horse will eat that. Oh, you have your own door over here. I didn't even notice that. Uh, we were working on the white horse, were we? Yeah. Lots of hay bales here, though. I didn't have a hoe with me. Uh, this was one of the mods added in, though. Stables mod, I think is what it's called, right? Spawns in with horses. It's got a stable master. Kind of cool little building here. Are you my friend yet? Oh, you are, huh? Okay. Now to head back home, which is the south-ish, I think. Oh, there's a bunch of carrots here. Whoops. Carrots and wheat. Actually, I like this horse. Probably won't abandon this one in the swamp, which I need to go get that one sometime anyway. Nothing else that's got my diamond horse armor on it, and it's almost nighttime. Well, I got the Rough Riders quest done. I also found out the hard way that Gators can actually come up to you while you're on a horse and snack you right off, so. Alright, but we're only 400 blocks away from home at this point. I hope this is the right dungeon I'm going to, actually. Pretty sure it is, yeah. I've got two roguelike dungeons uh, bookmarked, waypointed. Uh, the one right next to my house, and then the other one. Yep. Here we go. 
And my horse has been randomly doing that as I run around. Oh. Yeah, I probably shouldn't ride you through the berry bushes. You wouldn't like that a whole lot, would you? Oh, there you are. No. Uh, not a bad horse. I'm not that fond of horses, though, is kind of the thing. But we got our Silk Touch books now. And where is that wonderful work pick I just made? Uh, let's see. I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory here, too, don't I? Let's put two of those away. And... Bricks can go in there, I guess, for now. Terracotta can go into here. And... Get you crushed up. Came out with more emeralds than I left with, which is to say I left with zero emeralds, so... I even got some rails from somewhere. Honestly, actually, I cannot remember where I got those rails from. Where did I put that pick at now? Is that it? Yeah. So you and you, for four levels, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get you repaired, I guess. And let's see, what do you have on you? I'm breaking three silk touch three, or a... Uh, Efficiency 3 acquisition. I don't see much point in trying to enchant a pick to go with that, so I'm not going to bother. And crafting table. I should probably name this thing too, right? Yeah, 3 levels if I do it this way. It is 20 levels if I do it that way. Hmm. I guess just silky for now, honestly. Hello, Enderman. All right, and well, I can put the mushrooms away there anyway. Go more glass because well. Never know when you're gonna need more. Got a few sticks, really. And that can go away. Do that. When I get another sturdy bee cage, too. There we go. Yeah, let's put that in there for now. Random food I found in a box somewhere. That's always the best meals, right? Some beef jerky. Hey, bacon and eggs. Yeah, I'll have that. Sounds good. I can't eat it. Like, I'm holding right click and nothing's happening. I can't eat. Oh, sticky mouth. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So the taffy makes it so you can't eat anything for a while. Gotcha. All right, now I need to get up here. Unfortunately, I just realized this river by my base actually doesn't connect to anything. It just loops back in and on itself. It's kind of funny. Definitely means I need to clear this out here and do something with it, though. Not sure what, but something needs to go here. It's just going to take a lot to level it off. Uh, let's see. I do have, like, two random boats. I got one here. And I've got one in my pond over there. So actually, I need to head, what is it? Northeast? A ways? Basically, just head straight north from my base here. Eh, it shouldn't take too long, right? I got to the water, and I'm like, okay, something odd about this. 
right? Just random, you know, bits poking out of the water. And I notice there's sea lanterns down here. Oh, hello. Group of zombies. Ow. Damn, those guys were pretty accurate. Hey, cool, I got a trident. Awesome. Yeah, I need to get out of here for a bit. That trident guy has really messed me up, actually. Alright, get up, get up. Quest complete, Scuba Steve. Nice. And my endurance level even went up. Alright, so Scuba helmets, I can kind of sort of repair them like that. I even got a Nautilus shell, I've got myself a trident that's almost broken. Go figure, right? Another scuba helmet. Trident's just like stuck everywhere around here. All right, and oh, dang it! I realized my air sucks. Uh, let's see. Water breathing. Hey, that's kind of nice. Yeah, definitely something going on here. Some sort of roguelike, probably. Very treasure map. Okay. I don't really need the rest of that. Uh, something to the northeast, looks like, of us here. Hello, Sea Lantern. What are you? Jellyfish, huh? And why do I feel like this is something as well here, right? Check this out later. And let's go ahead and place that with that there. Okay. I just hit shift to move faster in the boat. That worked so well. All right, and... Well, that was kind of interesting little Little thing to find. Another one of those over there? Maybe, yeah. Is that an orca? I think yep, that's that's an orca over there. Cool. Makes sense, you know, cold ocean. That's kind of where orcas tend to live. Oh orcas tend to live everywhere, so. How far away? Oh, yeah, I've got a ways to go to get up there, don't I? You know, boats could really be faster, too. I need to make a motorboat, honestly. 
Is it a thing in this pack? Did that, because that was Mercy Petroleum back in the day. Looks like it, yeah. Reinforced hull makes the motorboat fire resistant and increases its health. Icebreaker bow, expanded fuel tank, maneuvering rudders, emergency paddles, and a small motor from spare parts, which has no use. I will look at spare parts and see what is being used out of that mod. I think that mod may have just been added just for the coins. Maybe certain maybe interesting to see what else we can do with it though. I've seen a lot of like ingredients from you know for spare parts. But they don't have uses or recipes, so and of course here it is almost nighttime. So yeah, we should be coming up on the uh Ice, yeah, here we go. I say we should be coming up on the ice soon, and there it is. There's also a bee in the water. Silly bee. Can't swim. Did I have any other food, really? Jellyfish. Alchemy ingredient for... Poison potion. Yeah, go figure. I just hit shift. Alright, so time to uh, time to grab some ice. Long pick. Are you even? Yeah, you do go. Yeah, underwater. Here we go. Looking for a place where I could stand. There's really not a whole lot. Most of this is just floating on top of the water, not actually in the water. Alright, and we're two and a quarter stacks so far. You know, I could just do that now that I've got it kind of cut off flush. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on ice. And. Ow! You jerk. Where you at? Thank you. That stings a bit. Those things go up. Hey, there's the orca. Alright, awesome. Oh, I guess time to head back to base, really. Um, we should be good on ice for a while, yeah. And I got a few other things taken care of, too. Alright, back at base, we ended up with a stack of blue ice plus more packed, which uh, packed ice, turns out, you can use to make smoothies and stuff. So, smoothies, ice cream. Can you use regular ice for that, too? Yep, okay. And then this, I can break it down using, what, a bit of heat? Equals four ice, yeah. Okay. And Frosty Wand from Decorative Winter. And then Bee Flowering, so it's kind of worth keeping a stack of packed ice around for a bit. But I went ahead and made myself an armor stand so I can put my scuba suit away. I guess I figured, well, why not? The only way to get those, by the way, ooh, cookies and milk, is uh, mob drops. Rough Riders gives me a free diamond horse armor. All right, not bad. To boldly go, Scuba, said, uh, Scuba Steve. Got me a bunch of fish sticks. And I completed a quest for making fish sticks. Cool. Prismarine, probably impaling, and five levels. A fair number of these will be thrown at you in your underwater adventures. Yeah, kind of figured. Loyalty. Radiant returns after being thrown. Kind of cool. The pity it's only got, you know, 22 durability, but they're craftable with uh, Heart of the Sea. Okay. And actually, here, let's do that. 
Aha, look at that. There's no materials to repair it with, so I have to craft one pretty much. Although, dissolution chamber. Okay, yeah, nothing. Gotcha. All right, so I got 14 fish sticks. That's going to last me for quite a while. Give you some armor. And for whatever reason, doing that, we could lead off. Range, but okay. All right, awesome. So one thing I need to work on now is more of these, right? And I need to centrally locate my power. I mean, down here, it's just a temporary stopgap just for getting a few machines up and running. Like all this stuff here. I had one sandstone in my inventory. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to crush it. Yeah, I need to rig that door up too still. Gold grit and copper. I have a little bit of nitrate finally. Which nitrate is what gunpowder? Yeah. Not something that's particularly useful right now. I don't know how much gunpowder I'm gonna need in the future, so. And that'll make my second buried treasure map. Let's go ahead and put my boat away as well. Eh, same with that. I'll keep it there so I remember that hey, I need to make one of these. But apparently they're pretty good. Because they they almost killed me. So, yeah, I need to get Blast Furnace out of here. I need to get some sort of power system set up around here somewhere. And uh, for now, let's just go ahead and, I guess, get this stuff going like this. So you can be Oak, you can be Spruce. And then the rest of the stuff is probably going to go into drawers and with the void upgrades on them. That way I just don't have to worry about it overflowing with stuff. And I'm pretty certain this rate here is going to be slower than, than what these things will cook it at. So not 100% certain though. We are starting to fill up a little bit with creosote in that. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, probably going to put a power station back here. So I've got a lot of excavation to do, and I'm not doing that on camera. Speaking of which, I need to get my excavation stat up so I can start using diamond uh, shovels. Would be nice. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series. And until next episode, I'm signing out. Have fun.